My name is Diane Bish. Today on The Joy of Music, we are going to be bringing you a program which to me is one of the most meaningful and important that I have ever done. The title is A Tribute to Mothers, in memory of my own precious mother who only some weeks ago passed away. Today we bring tribute to her and all who bear that precious title, Mother. days when so much emphasis is placed on money, power, and fame, little mention is made of the blessing and treasure of a godly mother. In my life, there has been no greater influence than that of my mother. The Bible, in all its wisdom, speaks of the treasure of a godly mother and wife. Proverbs 31.10 Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband trusts in her. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord she shall be praised. My mother was a beautiful woman, even striking in appearance. But her beauty was not just outward. The love, humility, and quiet strength of the Lord gave her inner beauty, for she was truly a godly woman. It was my mother that taught me the love of the Lord, God's Word, and the importance of serving Him faithfully. Never a day went by without her reading her daily devotions and studying the Bible. It was her prayers that saw me through life's most difficult and pressure-filled situations. How fortunate I was to be able to call my mother at any time and say, Mother, I have a concert or a competition. Will you pray for me at 8 o'clock tonight? And she would say, of course. What strength and power that brought to my life and all my endeavors.
As a child, my mother came to love both sacred and classical music, and through her piano playing, shared that love of music with all to whom she came in contact. And mother, how did you start playing the piano? Well, I just went up to it and started playing by ear. I, I didn't, uh, I don't know. It just came, the desire to, to play. How young were you when you studied the piano? Well, I was quite young. I think I was uh, about eight or ten years old. But Excuse you didn't me. like to practice very much, did you? Well, no. Yeah, when well, neither I, did I, I. It was easier to play by ear than it was to by notes. Yes, I'm sure. What about me? Did you have to make me practice? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Uh huh. We used to all get together and stand around the piano, and uh, Mother, you would play the piano, and I would sing or play the organ. Judy would play the violin, and we would all sing together. You remember that? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Did you do that in your family growing up? Well, we didn't have all that equipment. I mean, we had a, a piano, and it was in a cold room. See, we lived in the country. We didn't have air conditioning and the heat, and so I'd have to put in a whole lot of wraps, sweaters and things, and go in and play the piano in a cold room in the wintertime. We had folding doors and we'd close it off and I'd get the urge to go in and play so I'd put on sweaters and everything and go in and play anyway with all my <coughs> clothes on. <laughs> my mother gave me and my sister Judy the love of music. She faithfully played the piano in weekly services at the church, took us to the symphony concerts, and tuned in to the Metropolitan Opera every Saturday afternoon as we all listened together. Many were the times that we all gathered around the piano on a Sunday afternoon as Mother played requests and the great hymns and gospel songs of the church. there was a piano which I played as well as my mother, an organ which my parents purchased for me at an early age, and a violin which my sister played. Mother endured hours of Judy squeaking on the violin and more hours of my banging on the piano and organ. But in time her patience was rewarded as Judy continues to play in church and special occasions and music is my life and career.
I was always proud when my mother and father would attend one of my concerts, either at home or many miles away. My mother was always shy and especially humble at the attention given her. At the dedication of the organ of First Baptist Church in Dallas, Texas, the pastor, Dr. Criswell, gave my parents such a humble tribute. When I leave this benediction for our people to see you, would you come up here and stand right here? Her father and mother. We're so delighted to have them. What a benediction to have them. And you turn around there where people can see you. It's such a privilege to have you. In truth, the joy of music was born out of my father's artistic ability and my mother's love of God and music. Mother loved the joy of music, which she watched faithfully each week on the public television station in Wichita, Kansas. It brought her faraway daughter into her living room every week, but also gave her the opportunity to visit places and see things that she would never have the opportunity to see and to hear the music that she loved so much and had taught me to love too. Of course, my mother was very lighthearted in many ways. When her daughters were young, she used to sit between them in the car as they would drag the main on a Saturday night. She loved her dogs as well and always had one of them in her lap after her children left home. 
And most of all, she loved to fish, just like the rest of us did, and could always predict the hour when the fish were getting hungry and ready to bite. As in the case of many mothers, my mother was a lover of flowers and beautiful things, whether in the garden which she adored and which she always wanted to show me when I came home, or a bouquet of fresh flowers spread throughout the house. She admired and appreciated the beauty of God's creation. She loved her roses, tulips, fragrant lilies, and the delicate lilies of the valley. My mother was a portrait of devotion, devotion to my father, devotion to her two daughters, and devotion to the Lord. She taught us that devotion, but more importantly, she lived that devotion. Now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today.
any of you that have lost a dear and beloved mother, I know you would want to say with me, thank you, mother, for being the godly example, the quiet strength, the voice of encouragement, the pillar of prayer, dearest friend and companion. We will miss you very much, but we will see you again in the heavenly kingdom. like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.